Hi everybody, Tori Hartman here and this is going to be my message to you for the new year. And it's funny because I was like thinking about it, I was dreaming about it last night actually. I was thinking about how, you know, everybody's so politically correct now, they're afraid to say Merry Christmas. They're like going Happy Holidays and so they just don't insult anybody. But you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> I'm going to say Merry Christmas. And then when it's Kwanzaa, I'll say Merry Kwanzaa. Do you know what I mean? Like right now we're focusing on Christmas. We're a few days away. So I want to talk about my message for this year and time. And when we look at what the meaning of Christmas is to all of us, you know, at least for me, it's a time for us to be quiet, to gather, to enjoy each other, to have a time where we're connecting in a level where it's about reflecting in family. And I want to tell you something, it's a loaded time of year. So I always say to people, please don't make any major decisions before January 6th because there's so much memory coming up. And it's funny, when we were walking out here, you know, uh, Jasmine was just telling me a story about this guy every, you know, when this, her girlfriend moved in with him. And, and he was always, you know, every night he'd say, do you want a sandwich at 10 o'clock? She couldn't figure out what it was. And then finally when she went home to visit, um, the 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 mother says, do you want a sandwich at 10 o'clock at night? And the, the girlfriend says, oh my gosh, that's where it came from. So we're starting to find out this time of year where things came from. And what I want to offer you is the idea of being the observer and just noticing what's going on around you. So as we conclude 2000. 13, almost said 14, as we, as we conclude this year, as we come into this last week of it, what I want to say to everybody is, I send you as much blessing as I can as we go into the new year, and I'm hoping that you will see the seeds that you planted last year start to grow. I want to invite all of you to come take a look at my download, it's a free download, of the Setting Your Theme class for 2014. That class actually starts J January 6th and it is my lowest price class of the year and I do that so that you can get a real sense of getting your your, your whole year jump, start, uh, jump started. And what I want to say is that I did a one hour sneak peek for that so you can download that free and the link on this page will take you to that. So just go over where it says sign up, you know. You can go to that page and it'll say, would you like to listen to the, the hour free? Click on that. You can get a real sense of what the importance of setting your theme is. And one thing I want to say to you about that is I will leave you with this thought. Setting a theme for the new year and working with others is the most powerful thing I do every year. I look forward to the class because it actually sets up my year. Last year my theme was cheerful and a huge book deal came out of it. Connection with people that will change my life. And I'm looking at, for you, consider a theme for your life is like the music to the movie. You know, I use the, the, the movie Rocky a lot, but there are movies that you've watched that without the music, can you imagine, you know, Hunger Games without the music? Can you imagine some of these movies without the music? That's what a theme song is. That's what theme music is. So remember, your theme is the most important thing you take into the new year, and it is the most intangible aspect of this work because you know what ultimately it's something you filter your whole year through and I want to tell you it completely has changed my life and I know a lot of the people I work with so even if you don't have time or the money to take the class do the download and get some ideas for yourself for this next year and I am sending you oodles boodles and noodles of love and I look forward to hopefully meeting some of you in my travels in this next year much love everybody and Merry Christmas.